I first start out with uh, clay and make it into a ball. I can't explain that, but I like uh, starting out when it's round. And once I get it round, then I start to squeeze it into a coil. Then I shape it into a coil. Try to get a nice uh, even coil. Wrap the bottom and top. So we'll keep the bottom and top flat for the time being. Now the cylinder will grow in diameter. It will not grow in length. So I, first I start out using a quarter inch dowel. And notice that I'm twisting it and rolling it so I can feel the center. I go halfway and then uh, the other end I do it again and try to meet it in the center. And keep rotating it because you can feel it going in the center. Now, because the dowel is so flexible, I don't, uh, I hold it rigid. And as I apply pressure, the diameter gets a little larger, half inch dowel. Now, notice I'm not holding it. It's, uh, and the dowel will add more pressure to it. And this is a three quarter inch dowel. At this point, I'm not holding it rigid. I'm just rolling it on the palms of my hand. This is a broomstick technique. And uh, a larger dowel is put in. So it's the pressure is applied on the inside which creates a larger diameter. I take care of the top and bottom. And if it's done properly, you can make a nice even cylinder. Now this is about the largest wooden dowel you can find. If you want anything larger than that, you're gonna to have to find some cardboard tubes. So, uh, mailing tubes, tubes you find to roll out up uh, paper. Sometimes you can find larger tubes in a uh, rug store. They wrap the rugs around them. So, as the diameter gets larger, then you get a larger dowel. That's how it works. Once you establish the diameter, then you can start adding textures to it. This is a, a tray, a metal tray, cooking tray. And here I'm adding a little bit of pressure. This is a heavy corrugated cardboard. And this adds a nice... Uh, surface to it. Usually I roll it one revolution toward me. The broomstick is a great way of making cylinders. This is a car mat, Subaru car mat, the bottom of it. And this is a nice texture I use. So you can find all sorts of textures all over the place. I'm going to change the shape of this cylinder using masking tape, which is going to restrict it. So I take masking tape, in this case, a half inch masking tape, and just uh, stick it to itself and then add the cylinder. The cardboard tube is rolling it and changing the shape. Here we're wrapping it on a table to uh, make it oval. Notice that the, uh, the Masking tape is still in there. 
it won't hurt to leave it in there. Bottom is put on. And the bottom is secured using the paddle and the rolling pin. This is a wedding pot. So this was made for a wedding ceremony and the bride would drink out of one side and the groom would drink out of the other. So by pinching it, you can change the shape and then remove the dowels. And then with a feather knife, cut it, roll it, make the hole. And then in this case, I'm going to remove the masking tape and you can see how it's restricted the shape. Yeah, and gave it an hourglass look to it. 